My wife and I join you today, even if we are physically absent, to mourn with the family of the late Ambassador Dr. Ebuk, a good father, a husband, a leader, a professional in his field, a teacher of many, and a man of humility, matched only by a few people that I have met. It was in the middle of the year 2015 when I saw, remember clearly in my mind's eye, a mid-sized heavy frame gentleman walking into our offices in Bugolovi, where we had been attempting to build a communication and teaching outfit for the movement for young people at that time. He had a good command of what Uganda, when we had a conversation, a good command of what Uganda could offer to the Russian market and what the Russians could do in our country and East Africa. He was then our ambassador to Russia. I should have been the one going to him, but he came to me as a younger person and was willing to listen to me. How so much he is needed today as we push for exports for our country in foreign markets, I cannot begin to explain. That day we spoke about technology, agro-industrial change, skilling of young people, and diplomacy. I was touched by his love for his profession before he left Makerere University when he was a lecturer. I was touched by the list of people who had gone through his hands, young and older people, some ministers, others permanent secretaries. I was touched by his admiration of President Museveni and his loyalty to the movement and country. We became friends instantly and I called him my elder brother. When he retired, we had even deeper discussions about his plans. Along with his frustrations, some low and uncoordinated actions at the ministry, the last minister of his deployment, and I did my best to help him in the best way possible that I knew. His children, especially Jane and James, are people I like very much. They are committed to their country. They work together as a family along with their brother Jonathan, and they are involved in agricultural production at their farm in Oyam. Things that young people don't tend to do a lot these days. James has been on and off trying to help me, it's me who has really not given him chance, to help me set up some fish ponds at our farm. While Jen has been a committed communication expert on my side since 2012. Now, we'd like to pray for the spirit of unity that they keep together, these young people, these children, and keep the home and family of Dr. Book shining as an example all around us. I was saddened by the fact that the day he died last weekend, in my diary, I had scheduled 11 o'clock Monday to go see him at the hospital. It hasn't been possible. We have nothing to do anymore. He's gone. I can tell you, there are very few public servants like this man that we have lost, that were like Ambassador Book. I remember Ambassador Julia Sonen, my friend, Ambassador Chris Kasigazi, and many others. They were all my friends, and I was fortunate, honored to consult them and listen to them as a younger person, younger than them, listen to their advice about the country and what the young people need for this generation. They were all young at heart, but simply slightly old age and good men. I'll miss them all, especially Ambassador Book. May the Lord give Ambassador Book rest and keep his family united and strong, contributing in their fields to the growth of our country. Thank you very much.